Hey cougars, um, thank you so much for your interest in Conley Cheer. I'm Coach Cameron, I am the head cheer coach here. Um, I am going to go over some information regarding tryouts. Um, and then if y'all have any questions, you can just shoot me an email or um, you can contact us through our contact page on our website. So I'm gonna go ahead and share our website so I can go over some information. So this is our tryout information tab. Okay, so when you scroll down, it has a little intro about how we're doing um, tryouts this year, which is gonna be virtually. Um, and then it has your important dates. So February 8th, which is um, today, the informational video is gonna be posted and you're gonna be able to click right here where it says click here and you're gonna be able to be taken to this video. All right, February 26th, the tryout paperwork is due. Um, so this is all of the paperwork down here. So you have your rank one forms, which includes your signed cheerleading handbook, your signed athletic handbook, and your medical history. And then you have this tryout information sheet, um, and then a current physical. Your physical can either be emailed to me or dropped off at the school. Um, it has to be dated after April 15th, 2021. For um, rank one and the tryout information, you can just click and it'll take you to the correct link, okay? Just make sure you complete all three of these. All right, um, and then tryout information sheet. This is super important because this is how I'm gonna get your email so that I'm able to send you the tryout material. Okay, um, on March 5th, the tryout material is gonna be sent out. So if you did not complete that information sheet, you will not be getting the material. So make sure that you complete this tryout information sheet, okay? Um, and then March 11th is tryouts. So when you get your tryout material, you're gonna be invited to a Google Classroom, okay? And on that Google Classroom, there are assignments. And so what you're gonna do is you are going to attach your video to these specific assignments. So you have one for the cheer, one for the dance, one for your jumps, okay? For your jumps, you have to do a toe touch and then another optional jump. And then um, that is all due by 5 p.m. So if you submit it after 5 p.m., it is not gonna be counted, all right? Make sure if you are doing any tumbling um, or any jumps or anything, you are on a flat surface. So not a surface with spring, so not a trampoline, not a spring floor, okay? You need to be on a dead mat. So in the grass or um, on just a regular thin mat, okay? Um, and then March 12th, you're going to have your tryouts results posted. So they're normally posted by 5 p.m. on March 12th, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go over some, I'm gonna go over our tryout meeting PowerPoint real quick. Okay, so commitment, all right? Um, you're a cheer member takes on the role of a respectful and disciplined athlete who should model appropriate behavior for his or her peers at all times. So you need to have good work ethic, um, spirit of cooperation with parents, coaches, other cheerleaders, and other students. Um, the Conley High School varsity cheerleading team is composed of freshmen through seniors. Okay, so, um, the team will be determined by a score sheet, character, and your grades. So we do check your grades, we check your behavior. Um, that's where the character piece comes in. And then um, the average tier team at CHS is between 12 and 20 members. We can take more than that, we can take less, it just depends. Um, we will only have one team this year. So you will also, on your Google Classroom um, that you're gonna be invited to, um, we will have the score sheet available so you're able to look at it. So there's a regular score sheet as well as a tumbling score sheet. Um, so whatever email you put down um, in your trial information sheet, that is the email that I'm gonna be using to send you all this information, okay? So make sure you have access to it. All right, eligibility. You have, must have um, a 70 overall average, okay? Because you have to um, be eligible throughout the year according to UIL, and that means you have to have a 70 in all of your classes. So you must meet state guidelines for attendance, okay? So you can't have any truancy currently, um, and you need to make sure that you're coming to school. 
Um, students must have paid all previous balances and have no outstanding financial obligations. This includes for other sports. So if you still have uniforms for other sports, make sure you turn those in so you're not put on that obligation list. Um, a student must have never received deferred um, or a conviction for a class B misdemeanor or a higher class conviction. Students on mandatory placements during tryouts will not be able to try out, meaning if you're at OC, you cannot try out. Um, there will be not be an extension for tryouts offered. Students can participate in tryouts if they have returned back to their home campus in good academic standing and have administrator approval in writing. Okay, so that would be um, either Ms. Gamble or one of your APs. So your grade level AP needs to approve it. Okay, if you choose to participate in other extracurricular school events, the expectation is that time will be shared. Um, outside and club organizations will not be a valid excuse to miss practices or events. So if you're a competitive cheerleader um, and you have a cheer competition, that is not an excuse to miss a practice, okay? Um, for freshmen, if you decide to be in another school sport, there is a possibility that you will be an alternate for our competition routines, okay? The reason it's so hard to share athletes is because um, we are gonna be a competitive squad and we are going to be stunting. And in order to have consistent stunt groups, you have to have consistent people. So if you're not at all the practices, you're probably not gonna be in a stunt group, okay? Cost and supplies, um, it's approximately $950. And then mascots is approximately $650. So you will pay for choreography camp, socks, shoes, uh, your spandex, your bows, your camp gear, so you'll have five shirts and five um, bottoms, whether it's a skirt, spandex, or shorts, um, and then professional facility use, and then your first payment of $250 is due at March, on March 23rd. Okay, um, we try to keep the cost relatively low, so most of the time it is not reached that $950, but it can get to $950, but we are able to split it up into multiple payments for you. Okay, competition, um, it's a part of our program. So UIL is mandatory for every single member. Okay, out of state competition will be optional. UIL is paid for by the district. Um, cost of competition can cost up to $1,000. I have never had a cheer team uh, have a competition that costs that much or um, anything like that. So normally we are able to fundraise and get all of the competition costs covered we may have a $25 entrance fee um, at one or two competitions, but that's about it. Um, and then there is a possibility that we will practice over winter break. The reason is, is because uh, UIL State is in January, like the beginning of January. And so sometimes we have to have one or two practices during Christmas break. Um, that way we make sure we're ready for that. All right, practice times. April and May, it's gonna be Tuesdays and Thursdays from 4.30 to 6 p.m. at Conley High School. The first practice is March 23rd. Um, the parent meeting is March 22nd, and that is going to be via Zoom. And then the uniform fitting is March 23rd. So our, actually our first practice is going to be fitting you for your uniform and getting all of your sizes and everything like that. Um, but also, Note that that is because of the pandemic, you know, our practices may be virtual. They might look a little different. Um, so those days and times are not set in stone just because we want to be as safe as possible. And so we don't know, um, we are waiting for guidelines on that. Summer practices are June and July, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 11. And then camp dates are to be announced, you know, we don't know if we're gonna have a home camp, if we're gonna be going away from camp, it really just depends on what's going on. Um, and then if you have any conflicts, so once the team is announced and you have any conflicts on, during the summer, like you know, hey, I'm going on vacation these dates, you know, just shoot me an email, I'll write it down, and that way um, you won't get counted absent for those summer practices. Okay, important dates, March 8th, we're having a virtual tryout cheer clinic from 4.30 to 5.30. So I'm going to be sending a Zoom link to those who turn in their paperwork. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get onto Zoom and I'm gonna ask, you know, does anybody have any questions? Um, let's go over the material, you know, make sure you're all good with, um, especially jumps that can usually be um, a place where people are confused. And then um, I will double check that you have all your paperwork turned in. That way you are able to 
actually make the team if you um, score high enough because you have to have that paperwork turned in, okay? So I'll send individual chats to each person and just say, hey, you're good to go, or hey, I need you to turn this in, here's the link. Okay, at the clinic, um, you'll be able to ask questions about material, and then mascot candidates will work on a skit. Important dates, so March 11th, tryout videos will need to be uploaded by 5 p.m. Any late submissions will not be counted towards your tryout score. And then what to wear, a plain white t-shirt, plain black shorts, tennis shoes, and then your hair and a high ponytail. Um, and then our announcement of the new squad will occur on the cheer website. So you can just click on this link right here and you'll be able to be taken to the website for that. And then if you have any questions, please email briley.richards at pfisc.net and then fill out your Google form. This is your check-in. Um, this is how we know that you are going to have all your tryout information done. Okay, so this is the cheer information sheet. If you click on this link up at the top, it'll take you directly to it. Okay, this is an example of what rank one looks like. So you have your cheerleading handbook signature page and your online physical paperwork. Make sure you fill out both. Okay, it's a lot easier if you create um, an account than if you just do it as a guest because that way you can go back and you'll be able to find it. Okay, um, so on our website we have this paper right here where it is our highlights of the meeting. So it goes over tryouts, practices, um, choreography camp, the supplies. So this is what we will be getting from varsity this is what we'll be getting from um, outside sources all right and then on our website we also have um, some frequently asked questions okay so this is all of the questions that you may have and if you have any that are not asked on here then you can go ahead and just shoot me an email all right on our website okay if you go right here where it says more and you scroll down it says contact okay so you can contact me just fill in this form and i will email you back and then also this link to our youtube channel um this is where you will find this video as well as some other videos for the conley high school cheerleaders okay so if you have any questions please email me um, i love to get your emails i love to answer all your questions. I want to make sure that y'all are good to go and y'all don't, y'all are completely prepared for tryouts. All right, so um, good luck and I hope to see you next year.